Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a light bulb in Photoshop. This is what our finished product will be looking like. A little zoomed in, this is at full size. Uh, let's get started. So we'll create a new document, go to File, New. We'll call the document Light Bulb. Give it a width of 300 and a height of 500 and click OK. I'm going to pull out our Layers panel and we're going to fill the background of our document using the paint bucket tool to black. Next up is to create the bulb shape. Go to the ellipse tool, we'll get a blue color. Holding down shift, draw a circle in the middle of the document. We'll name this bulb. To give the circle a more of a bulb shape, grab the direct selection tool and click on the top anchor point, making sure that the top anchor point is filled in while the other three are empty. Holding shift, pull that anchor point up to give a bulb shape and hit enter. Now we're going to give the bulb a glow. So double click on the layer to open up the layer style dialog box. And the first thing we're going to add is a gradient overlay. Make sure it's a radial overlay style. For the inside of the bulb, we're going to make it a blue, sort of on the lighter side, and a darker blue for the outside. And you can play around with this until you figure out what works best for you. That looks about good. And I'm going to just move this center part of the gradient overlay, overlay down to the bottom base part of the bulb. Next is outer glow. We are going to leave the settings at our bring the opacity down to 60. Set the bulb color to a royalish blue and bump the size up on this to a little over 100. And you can see the glow around the edge of the bulb. And we're also going to add an inner glow to even out the inside. We'll bring the opacity down to just like 70. Another rich blue. And the size we'll bring up to 60. So now we've got an inner glow and an outer glow. We'll click OK. Okay, next we're going to add a shimmer using the pen tool. So we're going to grab the pen tool. This may be a little bit tricky, especially if you're not used to using the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in using the zoom tool. To do this, I am going to recommend that you just sort of roughly put out three points and then afterwards you can adjust the points to where you like them. I'm just going to throw the points out there to show you what I mean. And to put points, grab the pen tool, click, and drag to pull out the handlebars. So now we have three points. I'm going to change this color to white and bring the fill down just so I can just work with that path. I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and then customize these handlebars to make the shape that I'm going for. And to just move one of the handlebars, hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard while you click and drag with your mouse. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to move these down a little bit. And to move the points, just click again like we did before with the circle. Just click and make sure that only the point is selected and none of the other ones are. And then you can just click and move it around. That looks good to me. So I will hit enter and I'm going to go back and turn this fill up on here. And the opacity down to 30. I'm going to name this Top Pen Tool Shine. I'm going to add a bottom pen tool shine as well. So I'll start off with a white color, grab the pen tool, 
and start out just right down at the bottom. Same process, just throw out two. So make sure the fill's done, which it is, grab the direct selection tool and customize your points to sort of get the look that you are looking for. Remember to hold down Alt or Option and then one of the handlebars to just move one of them instead of using both. We'll bring the fill back up. Opacity down to about 30. And we'll name this tool, or name this layer bottom pen tool shine. And there we are down at the bottom. Okay, next we want to start with the base because you need a base for the bulb. You're going to grab the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, make sure the fill is at 100, same thing with opacity. We're going to get the move tool, bring the base of our bulb up, position it, and we're going to change the color of the top of the base to a green. And we're going to name it, name the layer top of base. Grab the add anchor point tool. What we're doing is adding two anchor points to this rectangle so that we can grab the direct selection tool again and holding shift select both of these anchor points and just bring it up a little bit to add some depth which you'll see unfolding shortly. We'll grab ellipse tool get a slightly darker green. I'll grab this green using the eyedropper tool with the color picker dialog box open. If you hover over the green, it will come up with an eyedropper tool. Click that and then just make it a little bit darker. And that's going to be the underside of the top. Grab your, make sure your ellipse tool is selected. Go underneath and then draw a rectangle or a ellipse like that. The green didn't pick up, we'll make it a little bit greener. Bring that shape layer down beneath the top of base. We'll call it under top. And move it up right underneath your base. And we're going to do that whole process again. But this time with a slightly larger rectangle. We're going to copy that green from the top one, move it underneath the base, name this layer bottom of base, grab the add anchor point tool, add two new anchor points, same like we did on the top rectangle, right in the middle, one on top, one on bottom, direct selection tool, click the top anchor point, click the bottom anchor point, hold shift, and oh, I'm sorry hold shift while you click the top and the bottom let go of shift and then just give it a little bit of a concave look I'm going to redo that concave Use the move tool to move it up. And again, make the bottom of the bottom of the base. Using the ellipse tool. Use the move tool to move it under that rectangle and we'll move the shape layer underneath bottom of base and name it under bottom. And there we have our base. The next step is we are going to add a little bit of depth to the bottom or to the base. And what we're going to grab are the two lighter green layers for the bottom of the base, which is the top of the base layer and the bottom of the base layer. Double click on it to bring the gradient overlay. And we're going to set the angle at 180 degrees, the style to reflected, 
And we're just going to do a light green and a darker green to give the look of some depth. Little bit lighter. There we go. Copy that layer style and paste it on the one beneath it. And we'll zoom back out and see our bald in the base. One more thing we're going to do uh, I'm going to just quickly adjust the colors on this base because I'm not very happy with it. Make a little bit lighter. Okay. And lastly, we're going to just add one more layer of shine that will go on top of all of the other layers. To do this, we're going to grab the polygon tool and set the size to 15 sides. And the color of the polygon will be white. Add a small polygon in the center of the bulb move it with the move tool. It's not going to look like a polygon because the sides are so small and or there's so many sides and the size of the and the size of the polygon is so small but the sides are there. We're going to grab again our trusty direct selection tool, click on the side or click on the side of the polygon and just pull out four beams of light, sort of perpendicular, doesn't have to be perfect. Hit enter. We're going to call this layer um, beams of light. And just blend this in a little bit by going to filter at the top, blur, Gaussian blur. Yes, we want to rasterize it. Set the radius to 1.5 pixels. Click OK. You can see that everything is now a little bit blurry as far as the beams of light and bump this opacity on the beams of light layer to 30. And there we have it, our finished light bulb. See the link in the description if you want to see a text-based tutorial to go along with this one. And uh, like I said earlier, check out my next tutorial, which is going to show you how to take these light bulbs and combine them into a string of light bulbs and I can show you some cool things to do with that as well. Thank you for watching.